What is going on in the brain as we are learning? In order to find out, you need an MRI. The acronym stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. This MRI can depict what the brain looks like and what is happening in different parts of the brain. This is called fMRI, Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging. When we are learning, processes of metabolism in certain brain areas intensify, which means increased blood circulation. The ratio of oxygen-rich blood and oxygen-poor blood changes. The fMRI can depict this change, because the magnetic properties of oxygen-rich blood differ from those of oxygen-poor blood. The images thus show which areas of the brain are especially active during any given learning process. An example. If you have to solve a math problem from the 11 to 20 tables for the first time, the fMRI shows activity in many different brain areas. Sectors for visual processing, the processing of sums and strategy. Once you know the 11 to 20 tables by heart and you are given the same math problem, fewer and other areas of the brain are active. The researchers are not only interested in the activated areas, but in which nerve fibers connect them. These connections of fibers can be shown using diffusion tensor imaging, DTI for short. The DTI visualizes the movement of water molecules along the nerves and allows conclusions to be drawn about their course. Such connections, webs of fibers, can change during learning processes. The more they are used, the more conductive they become and the better you can process what you have learned. With the fMRI then, the researchers can see which areas of the brain are active during specific learning processes. Thanks to the DTI, they can see how these areas connect within a web of fibers and how its strength develops through learning. Both methods combined give us a comprehensive view of what is happening in the brain as we learn.